Hey guys, it's Nikki and today I'm back with another video. So today I am doing a what's on my iPhone 7. So I just recently got the iPhone 7 for my birthday. Well, not for my birthday. I actually bought it after my birthday. Kind of birthday gift to myself. So, you know, treat yourself. I got the iPhone 7 rose gold. There's a lot that's changed and then there's also like not that much that's changed from the 6. It doesn't have a headphone jack, but also it they give you headphones that plugs into your like where you charge your phone, which I'm like not that much of a fan of, but I thought they were going to give you like Bluetooth headphones. Like I thought that was why it was actually like $100 more than the 6 was when it came out. But no, you don't get Bluetooth headphones, which I thought was like weird because like why wouldn't they give you he Bluetooth headphones with a phone that doesn't have a headphone jack? Like, I don't know. But one of the other things that has changed is that the button doesn't press in. That you just like kind of like you press it still, but it doesn't actually like go in like the other one if that makes sense if you have a friend that has the seven or if you have a seven then you would understand it but if you haven't i would say like go to a walmart or a target or something where they have iphone sevens and just check it out because it's it's kind of weird but i like it i kind of like it my case that's on my phone is just from icing i love this case um this is the second case i have bought for this phone so far um, I bought a bunch online, but they haven't came in yet, so <laughs> yeah, this one is pretty protective. It's like not the most protective, but at least it like comes over my phone a tad bit to where then hopefully if I drop it, it wouldn't break, but it's still like a little bit sketchy to me. So this case was like $10, so if you do get a 7 and you can't find any cases, go to Icing and Claire's because they actually have iPhone 7 cases. That are pretty good and they're pretty good price i mean most fun cases for iphone 7 are like 20 dollars. so but yeah let's just get into showing you what's on my iphone and i hope you guys like it if you do please give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed hi my name's nikki please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and watch my other videos if you like this video if you like me then check them out and also follow my social medias they will all be linked down below and yeah let's get into it so my lock screen is just me and a bunch of my friends this was around christmas that we took this but yeah it's my friends and my boyfriend and so then you just open my phone and i have this like rose background and i just got this off of we hard it and i love this i love roses so i just love this background but the first app that you see is Snapchat, which is private, but yeah, I just use that a lot, so I put it at the very top. And then I have my social folder, which which this one has We Heart It, which my We Heart It is just Nikki Wood, and I just save like a ton of stuff. I have a ton of different collections on here, and I just I love We Heart It. My next one on social is a Twitter. This is my Twitter. I always have it linked below if you guys want to check it out. Um, yeah, I just, I post sometimes and yeah. Then and I always tell you when a new video has gone up. The next one is Tumblr, which I have two. I have, um, I have these two Tumblrs. Then I have PayPal. And I have Facebook, which my Facebook's private. It's more just like family and friends just to keep track of. Uh, like birthdays and talking to people I don't normally talk to, you know. And then I have YouTube Studio, which this just helps you like with comments and stuff. Like I like to use this for, um, for replying to comments. It is really helpful for that. So if you are a YouTuber, then you should definitely get this app because it helps so much and it like tells your notifications and stuff like that. Then I have Influencer. Okay, so then I have Influencer, which Influencer is just a kind of like a subscription box, except for it's for if you have like a YouTube channel or Instagram or so, then it's you get a free subscription box. Um, sometimes they send you things, like they sent me the Laura Mercier palette, 
which I am obsessed with and love. But yeah, they just have a lot of different stuff and you can like review things and it adds up your points. So yeah, it's really fun and I like it. So I have that and then I have Ipsy because I am subscribed monthly. So I love to have the app on my phone. Then I just have notes and YouTube and then I have my editing folder which which Fonto and Photogrid are what I use to edit my thumbnails and then I have Visco which I use for Instagram editing so I just plan out my feed and then I post and edit on there and yeah I love that app. Then I have the camera app which just comes on your iPhone and then over here, I don't know why this has like a photo and video thing. Should probably have like a music note instead. I don't know why I have it like that. But I have FaceTime, music, and Spotify, which I don't actually use the Apple Music. I only use Spotify. Then I have my app stores right here. It just in one folder because why not? Then I have my shopping app, which is one of my favorites besides my social folder. Um, so this one I have Dote Shopping which is amazing because if you like to shop from like a billion different stores then you can you can just shop from all of your stores here and save like the items that you like and yeah you just have like different lists it'll show you your list like um, right here under favorites it just shows like all of your lists which I have a ton because I like to keep my stuff organized then I have Wish which I love Wish. Some people would say like they don't like it, but I'm actually pretty much a fan of it because I've bought quite a bit off there and it's actually a really good website, I think. Then I got Hot Look, which, or Hot Look, I think it's Hot Look because I hear that in the commercial, but I don't know. So I really like this app, or you can get makeup for so much cheaper on here. Like, they'll have sales on stuff that's so expensive. Like, see, that's usually $135 and it's on sale right now for $20. So, I mean, really good deal. So, and they have a lot of Morphe products on here. So, I think that's amazing. And I have bought a Morphe palette off there. Then I have Sephora because, of course, like, I have to have Sephora. Like, you know, just makeup you have to have that and then I also have Ulta which of course another makeup app you just kind of have to have which this one I think is really cool because you can like favorite items so then you're like saving them and then you can also just like have your cart which I usually have my cart full but right now it's not but then it just has a few things that I like need in it then I have my settings and I have my camera connection which this it just connects to my camera so I can like hook it up and get my pictures off of it so I can get them right on my phone. Then I have my games folder which I'm obsessed with best fiends like ask any of my friends I'm obsessed with it and I'm on I think level 75 oh no I'm on level 85 yeah and I got to level 45 I believe or 55 after only having it for three days so that probably just tells you how obsessed I am with it. But it's super fun and I just love it. Then I also have Candy Crush, which is such a throwback game, but I play this when I get tired of Best Fiends or when I'm out of energy on there, but I wanna keep playing a game. So then I just play Candy Crush. Then I have my Bible, my clock, my, cal my calculator, and my calendar, which I do use all of those. And then I have a folder that says stuff I may use, which I do use the front folder sometimes. Like I use the Safari pretty often. And then, well like obviously that's kind of one that you use quite a bit. And then I have maps, which I use sometimes. And then I have reminders, which I do have a couple reminders on my phone. The contacts, and I have a weather, the weather app and tips and garage band which i don't really use any of the, i don't really use the last row in the, the last one but then i have this one which i don't even use any of these which is health voice memos compass wallet keynote find iphone numbers itunes u and pages 
Then I have my mail app, which I actually don't use because it takes up way too much storage because I don't go through my mail enough, so <laughs> yeah, no. Then I have the iMovie app, which I have not actually used on my phone, but I figured if I ever need to upload and I can't upload that I could just send it to my phone and that then I could upload it from my phone, you know? Then I have my bottom apps, which I honestly don't have very many apps at the moment. I have my messages, my phone, my photos, and Instagram because those are the most used on my phone. And if you're not following my Instagram yet, you guys should go follow me because I'm really trying on my feed and I'm really happy with how it's been looking lately. Like, do you see that? I, I'm very, very happy with that. So it's just Nikki Inspired Beauty. I also have a second account which is Nikki Inspired Closet which this just has different like outfit inspiration on it which I had a doodly theme but the doodle app I used was messing up so I had to delete it so now I just kind of post mirror selfies and I might try to change it up again. So that was all for the what's on my iPhone. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And don't forget to follow my social medias. And also comment down below what phone you have because I want to know. And also what color of phone you have because that's kind of interesting too. See you guys in my next video. Bye.